Brother in cursive. Are we really brothers? 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 Would you tell me? Yeah. Brothers in cursive. Hey, this is Red Band coming to you live from Death Squad Studios for a brand new episode of Brothers in Cursive. Here's William Montgomery and David Zuka. Yeah, we out here, David, man. what are you playing on there? I wasn't playing anything. I was actually... Are you texting? Um, I was sending an email. To whom? Nanya. Nanya? I was sending an email to your girl. That's how we communicate. What were y'all saying? Uh, she was like... When are y'all meeting? She was like, William's going to be drunk around 147, so you can come over at 212. What, a.m. or p.m.? A.m. Tonight? Yeah, she's making me pozole. Ooh, you're getting some pozole. <laughs> some fish pozole. <clears throat> Ooh, I've heard about the fish pozole. Tonight? Tonight. You'll come over. Yep. And I'll be asleep. And I'll eat that flounder. Ooh. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Do you eat flounder, Red Ben? No, but I can't believe you're talking about fish sauce. You just had some fish sauce. Bro, William... If you guys are not on our Patreon, uh, these you got to pe- get on today. It was bad. These people, <laughs> these today people, bad. these people named Red Band and Janice cook up the most sinister shit for us to do for you guys' enjoyment. Uh, we played a j- just go join and you'll see. But William had to eat fish sauce. I got shocked and I ate <laughs> fish sauce. It, it was the, the shock may have been the funniest thing I've ever witnessed. It really in was. Person. <laughs> In person, it made it me the, shocked me. The funniest thing I've ever witnessed. That that shit was crazy. His hat flew off. Yeah, it did. Your hat flew off. It was all shocking. The way to, hey, William, should I tell him what we did over the past few days? Yeah. Um. So me and William actually joined the Proud Boys. Yes. Uh, Trump, really excited. Trump told us to uh, stand back and stand by. And we are standing back and standing by currently. Yep. I got tattoos. Yep. You got a Proud Boys tattoo. Wow. A uh, couple roses and some butterflies. That's totally Proud Boys. Mm. Yeah. It hurt like a motherfucker. I got him last night. That's a different type of Proud Boy. Didn't you get one on your mean? belly also? Yeah, I also got one on my tummy. Like, how, how do you put on a fake tattoo? Is it with water? Wow. Is it with water or what? What do you mean a <clears throat> fake tattoo? What are you talking about? I can take that tattoo off with rubbing alcohol. No, you can't. Why do you say that? Let's see. People would have believed it was real. Janice, can you bring me a paper towel? No, okay. That's fake. <laughs> People would have thought it was real. Why did you call me out at the beginning? <laughs> I was thinking I was looking more hardcore. Never mind. Uh, because I know you know better than to get a butterfly tatted on your fucking inner forearm. You don't think I'd do that? I hope not. I would. I'd get a butterfly on me. You would? Yeah. How many tattoos do you have? Too many, bro. Like, how many would you guess? Uh, I probably got, like, 20, 30 sessions. What does that mean? So how many tattoos is that? Mm, I mean, you know, like, at, I mean, like, these are multiple tattoos, but it's, so these are multiple sessions morphed into one tattoo. So, like, that's this is one whole tattoo, even I though have. it's, like, multiple sessions. Like, this was a session... What's the Asian writing? Uh, it says war and peace, and then there's a koi swimming downstream. Oh, nice. Bad luck, yeah. Love it. Yeah, so it, it all morphed into one tattoo, but it's multiple sessions. Like, so probably like, get it. Probably like $5,000 worth of work. Yeah, this was like a couple hundred. A couple like, hundred for fake yeah, tattoos? Yeah, it took like three hours. Dude, get the fuck out of here. Like three no, hours. For, how do how do you apply, is it just water? You just apply with water? Yeah, you get a sponge and you put warm water in a bowl and then you put your arm over a uh, water. Yeah, you put water over water, like a towel, and uh, you dab the the thing on the tattoos and then you slowly peel them away. Oh, so just like how we used to do when we were young. Oh yeah, it's the same technology. I'm surprised I don't have fake ta- face tattoos because when I was young, I used to put tattoos all over my face, the fake ones. Did you really? Hell yeah! I knew I was gonna have tattoos when I was like five. Really? I couldn't wait. That's fun. We we had this um, what was that grocery store called? It was called uh, my grandma used to shop there all the time. Food Max. I haven't and, heard of that and one. Piggly Wiggly. That's some. Down- I remember yeah. Piggly Wiggly. Yeah, that's some down south shit. So they used to have these. When you get ready to walk out, they would have like the top row and the bottom row of the little coin machines. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. 
and I would opt out for the bubble gum to get the fake tattoos. Well, that's sweet. <laughs> I like that. Yep. And have my grandma put them on over the sink. <laughs> Yeah, the technology for fake tattoos are actually pretty good nowadays. Like they last. There's some that last like three months, where it, it looks completely. So there is some different technology. There is. There's like there's people that want tattoos, for, but for longer, but not permanent, yeah. and they're like months. Like you, they look real and they last for months. That's maybe what I'll That's do. Cool. If we could rob a bank and do that, get some fake tattoos over our face. Oh yeah, yeah. And then when we'd they, have to wear masks. No, you just walk in with your face covered in tattoos. Really? And then when they come to a restaurant, you'd be like, what? I know. You have them all washed off. Maybe yeah. that is genius. Maybe, you know, just walk in with a face mask on and a, and a showing part of a face tattoo. So they're looking for a, yep. a black guy with dreadlocks with a face tattoo. That would be good. Look at that. Look at that. But that looks, <laughs> that looks fake. I mean, it, looks, it doesn't look that bad. It, it like, looks new. It looks too detailed. Wait, do they not even have to put... Yeah, there's a the water. <coughs> the peel for a beautiful tattoo. I'm going to shout out uh, Glassics.co for the wonderful bong. You did that shit last hey, week. Hey, you weren't supposed to do it again until we got bongs. What, what, what the fuck? That you... was bullshit. Edit that shit That's out. Not, right, no. Make sure that shit is edited out. Hell no. Edited, no. They're sending me money every week. Okay. I can't lose a sponsorship. They're sending me 200 bucks a week. Okay. All right. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woo! You want to try it? <laughs> no, sir. I don't want to try it. I don't want to try it with you and your <laughs> fucking fake tattoos. Come on. I'm having fun today. What? I got I, shocked. I got a question. What did that fish sauce taste like? Is it the worst thing you've ever tasted? I didn't even really want to gag because I didn't want to have too more oxygen in my mouth so I could smell it. I don't even know if that's a thing, but I was scared to gag. <laughs> so I let's, let's I, look at how they make it. So it looks God. like they take a bunch of fish and they... Is it the worst thing you ever tasted? It was one of the worst smelling things I've ever tasted, and the taste was awful. So it's pretty much fermented. It's old fish. They put a bunch of... It looks like... Is that concrete? Salt, maybe? Semen? <laughs> <laughs> what is the point? Like, who uses this? Is it good in dishes? It really is. You can't taste it though. It's like it's more of like a deeper flavor. But what? What do you just put a little in like a dish? So you put a bunch of rotting fish, oh, in, in, and then you let it just sit in a, like, a pickle so jar for a stank. while. Oh my god! You take out all the condoms that are on the top. of Yeah, it. what was that? Uh, <laughs> it was just your, a piece of plastic. In well, there. at least that? your fish sauce didn't look like that, bro. It was That's darker. Your, that shit looks putrid. It is. Pretty much that's what it is. It's rotting fish. But it's safe to eat? Yeah. Because of the I guess it has the fermentation, to, yeah. yeah. I wonder if they eat those fish. No, or that'd I, just be horrible and nobody like would pickles. ever... Yeah, no, Knowing no, them no. Asians, ain't no telling, bro. <laughs> no, no. They put them in their shoes. They <laughs> <laughs> put them in their shoes? Yeah, fuck. Right. So they feel funny. <laughs> so you fuck with fish sauce, Red Man? Uh, well, Janice, when she cooks, like she'll add that to pho or something like that. So keep fast forwarding because this it, is it tastes good. good when you. This look like fish. So bait. if you just have a little bit, oh, it's she good. Is at eating something. it, putting in some salad. Do you like sardines? This must not be fish sauce. Yeah, it is. So, are you all a fan of sardines? I love a sardine, but that's nothing oh, like fish like sauce. That ain't no goddamn fish sauce. That's something else. Yeah, uh, what was that? That bitch. She, but I mean. Here it is. Yeah. Fermented. I mean, that, that's her eating the fish sauce after it's, but that's how you get Lau, for, The fish sauce fermented. is the sauce that it's in the ferment. Look at this. Pedic oh. yeah. Plera. Who cleans that out? Because that shit got to be. Ooh wee. What it smell like? Ooh -wee. You'll have every fly in Mississippi at that jar if you open it. You mouth. would. That was horrible smelling. Damn. I bet that shit can catch some catfish, though. I bet it could. You know, catfish like that stank shit. They like that stank ass. What would they use? Blood bait or blood something? Isn't that a thing for catfish? Yeah. So, what like, do you mean blood bait? Like chicken livers and shit? Yeah, I thought it was called that, but it's been so many years since I, I used yeah. to fish with a cane pole yeah. down in Mississippi. I used yeah. to love catching catfish. Well, this is the fish That's sauce. That's the nasty use. ass fish sauce right there. That shit is I'm going to smell it. I haven't smelled this before. It might turn him on because that shit smells like bad pussy. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, oh, it's got like a musk to You it. wouldn't even guess that's how it smells. <laughs> So, so you I wouldn't know. even guess that's, like that's what the smell is. Yeah. I don't even, I don't even know what that smell is. All I don't of, understand it. All of our listeners that also watch Kill Tony, I got stop. I got to stop saying the N word on Kill Tony and on here. <laughs> Jesus, is that real? I hear that it being is real. said. That's it is real. real. Yeah. So what happens? Why can you not? Because it's the N word. Even if it's uh, even if it's David saying it, they. It, they don't want the N word, you know. So what about so what that? happens if you say it once? Something happens. It, you get demonetized. Who's and, watching the video? Though? Well, that's just it. A lot of times, it's just automatic. They have like an N word filter where it goes through the whole video and goes, "Oh, nope, there's an N word." And so even when I fight it, sometimes they'll just be like, "Let it go," you know, because that, that when I fight it, that means somebody has to watch it. So what? Like, normally, do y'all make a little money? And now since David's been doing that, he's been sabotaging everything. Yeah. Well. It, yeah, <laughs> it, it, it just started. It just, it just started. It just started. Like, oh, yeah, wow. I think it, I don't know if it's it just started for us or if it started for everybody. But it, like even when I fight it and usually like they'll be like, oh, it's fine. You know, black guy said it, you know, but lately it's been like, nope, that you can't even use it. You know, don't even use it. I'll say Negro. Negro. But that just say, Hey, buddy, or something. Yeah, Jeez. <laughs> that can help me because I say the N word a lot. I say that. I think it's fine. You know what thing you say a lot that me and Janice always laugh about What's is that? that you always say it's cool. You know, like we'll, <laughs> like we'll be like we'll be like, hey, how how was your weekend? It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> that is how I answer shit, <laughs> bro. That's you know that's what girls hate about me because they say I'm too nonchalant. <laughs> yeah, they're like you are the sh-, like in text because that's like my personality. Well, you know, like. Yeah. I'm, I'm not the biggest talker on the planet, especially when you like asking me like how you doing. Like I'm I'm cool. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. seems like a good response. <laughs> How's your weekend? It's cool. How's your day? It's cool. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like what I post like, oh my day is good. I woke up to a frappuccino yeah, latte. And, and right. then I had a, a yogurt parfait from McDonald's and I walked a half a mile to the store to get a gallon of water and I walked yeah. back and there was a nice breeze and leaves were blowing in my face as I walked up to my <laughs> a apartment parfait stairs. from McDonald's. <laughs> That's sweet. Those are good. Mm-hmm. I haven't been to McDonald's. The last time I think I went to McDonald's was actually with y'all fools when we when um when we did them shows and Tony was like, I got a treat for you guys. <laughs> Remember that? He woke us up at like two o'clock in the morning to oh, McDonald's that's right. at the house in Sacramento. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. I forgot about it. When was that? That was almost a year ago, that wasn't was it? That was probably a year ago now. I think that was, what, October? Mm-hmm. Remember that one time we went, went yeah. to Wendy's, and then David's like, no, I need I need fish. So oh, yeah. he, ran he, across, across the street. he ran across a highway. The highway. <laughs> <laughs> them fools, them fools, that was that trip. Them fools had I no, remember that. They had no, no, uh, because Wendy's used to have a decent fish sandwich. I thought Wendy's still had. Had a fish Bro, sandwich. I don't remember that. I've never got it though. But Wendy's had a fish I didn't know that. Yeah, they did. They used to have like a. It was called the Pacific Cod. Sandwich. There it is. So That's it's right. been since like sixteen. Yeah, them fools got rid of that shit with the quickness. Uh, I guess it comes back for Lent. Do they have a lot you know Chick Fil A has? You know Chick Fil A has a fish sandwich during Lent. Oh really? Do yeah. they? Hell yeah! Look at that, bro. Chick Fil A fish sandwich. During- Are Jewish people not allowed to eat chicken during Lent? I don't know. They got to get a lint roller. <laughs> what? Yeah, they do. Yeah, I don't yeah. know all that. Man, I love some Chick Fil A. Look at that burger. I had that um, Chick Fil A fish sandwich. Uh, what was it yeah. last year? I bet it's good. It was decent. I like Chick Fil A. Hmm. Be- look at be- that. Be- burger ca- King fish fish sandwich. That sounds nasty. No, that shit good, bro. <laughs> really? Hell yeah. Is that- What's Last on? time I went to Burger King, it was a sad experience because I like some Burger King. It was sad. So the good thing yeah. about fish is they don't cook them shits all the time. So pretty much when you get it, it's fresh. Right. Like burgers, they do it all the time. So you'll have that shit sitting up in the heating tray. Yeah. Yeah. Burger King's really taken a dive lately. I don't know what it is. I but hate it. I, but but to be fair, I did have it like two weeks ago, and it was way better than the ten other times I've had it. The best, good. the best one is the one on Van Nuys, right there off of the uh, one hundred and one. That doesn't seem like it would be. It is. That's the best <laughs> one, though. That's because I get them. Um, well, what do you the, get from Burger King? Fish sandwich only, baby. I got them a lot during the um, quarantine. Did you? Hell yeah. Do you like their fries? They cool. They cool. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's my phrase. 
<laughs> and it's so funny because like, it, and that's exactly how me and Janice will do it now. Like, I'll be like, Janice will be like, how, how do you like the soup I made you? And I'll be like, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, they cool, bro. They, cool. <laughs> they got some cool fries. Like, they better than what they used to be. Wendy's, yeah. Wendy's, they fries is, is, is not good. Yeah, they like their old the fries better. Their old fries they are old better. Fries, yeah. I tell you, man, and I, I don't think I said it on here. Like, I used to not be an in and out guy because I thought they had the, 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 the worst fries known to man. Yeah. I, I think their fries taste horrible. Somebody told me, get them well done. And I'm like, all right, I'll fucking try it. Dude, you get them well done, it yeah. changes it. That's like, that's the problem that's been missing. They've been undercooked this whole time. They undercooked their fries. So, if next time you try to in and out, get them well done, get a uh, packet on the side of their sauce. Yeah, you know, I like the sauce. Yeah. I don't know what them hoes cooking, but them ain't no potatoes. Yeah, they're just too starchy. Yeah, I don't like it. Them shits taste like fried styrofoam, bro. Yeah, they're just starchy. Yeah, I don't Man, like it. Yeah, they, they got to let them hoes soak in some cold water or something. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <I> mean, <laughs> <laughs> That's what bro, you're supposed to do. Is that how you're supposed to do it? Yeah, yeah bro. Them potatoes, I don't know what they do. They must pray over their potatoes, dog. I think they make so many good. fries, they don't let them soak enough. Because they're they, supposed to soak them in ice water. Bro, For how long, I wonder? Just a few minutes. You just want to shock them? Yeah. Oh. Shock them, baby. Shock them. Ooh. Who, who, you know who got some of the best fries, but them things is just greasy? Uh, checkers slash rallies. Are there any out here? There aren't, are there? They got rallies out here. Where? Right here in Burbank, fool. No, I don't there's think there's a rally. There's not a rally. Or Glendale. Maybe Glendale. It's right. It's not far. I remember they were in Memphis. Checkers. They got rallies. them over there in Inglewood, too. I like steak and shake fries. Yeah, steak and I shake. I love steak and shake. And Is I, there one of those out here? They're chili. There well, there was one in Burbank, but they just closed. Ah. No, they got one in Santa Monica, too. Yeah. It's, you know what's weird about that oh, one? Oh, they is, closed the one in Burbank right there across cl- from the movies? Yep, yeah, they closed that one. Damn. And the one in Santa Monica is not even owned by a steak and shake. It's like some other dude that, what? that used to be a CEO or something like that, a steak and shake, and then he left the company but kept a couple restaurants of, as his. So that's why if you look at it, it's just like... Tom's Steak and Shake, like it's. Does it still taste like? Taste it's and, still it's still Steak, steak and shake? shake, but it's just like a weird version of it. Oh gosh, I love their milkshakes. Good chili, man. They're chili. You put those. I haven't had in that it. before. Mm. From who? Steak, steak and Shake. Steak and Shake. They have great Bruh, chili. The Frisco milk. Back when I used to eat Frisco beef. Frisco melt's the best. <laughs> I remember Ooh-wee. the Frisco melt. Yeah, boy, that's good eating right there, though. <laughs> that's good eating. Mm. Who else is good? Who else got a Fud Ruckers? Fud, I mean, Those man, just went Florida. out of business too. The one in Burbank? Yeah, it's at, like, I think nationwide went out of business. Damn, son. Fud Ruckers I saw good. one in Florida. There was one out of here. I thought it was only a Florida well, thing. I had no idea. Yeah, I grew up with one, dog, but they did close it. And the one right here used to stay packed. The one like, yeah. in the little Burbank Town Center. Mm-hmm. They're singing of Fud Puckers. That's something else. It sounds very much like Fud Ruckers. They're singing of Fud Puckers. There you go. Who else got it? They always had very good t shirts. You, you know who else had good burgers, bro? Growing up, Shoney's. Shoney's. I miss Shoney's. I miss Shoney's. Bro, there's only one that I know I of, Shoney's. and that's in Forsyth, Georgia. You guys remember Ponderosa? No. The steakhouse? Mm-hmm. I never went, but I, I've heard The of worst it. steakhouse is going out of business. Yeah. What? Um, what's it called? Uh, Sizzler. Sizzlers. I never went there. You know, heard it, of it's it. not the worst, but it's definitely like, it's like take, going to like a, a buffet and except they don't have the buffet, but they have that kind of steak, that kind of quality. Yeah, of bro, steak. that shit, that bro, that's you a choke on it. That shit so tough. It's like they gave you the, the ankle of the cow. <laughs> yeah, that shit, that, that shit tough, boy. <laughs> bro, that be tough, bro. I don't know where they get it from. Yeah, it's pretty Gosh. sad how this uh, COVID has destroyed so many restaurants. You know, yeah, like forever. Yeah. You know what restaurant closed over here that I used to mess with a lot? Simsies. Simsies. I think that's oh, right. yeah, I love yeah, Simsies. Yeah, yeah. They have good there. chicken wings. Simsies. I eat the. Uh, they got a great uh, Impossible Bur- or Beyond Burger, whichever one it is. But they, their their thing, their whole. I went thing, there a couple times. Yeah, they good, good, bro. Their whole thing is that they use um, wood fire grills. Oh, do they? Yeah. I, I never went there. Simsies. Yeah, they had wonderful chicken wings. What other restaurants won't ever open again? 35 of the most popular that won't reopen after Corona. I know Soup Plantation's one. Oh, Soup Plantation right. is done. Uh, Steinmart. Steinmart. Uh, I worked across from a California Soup Plantation. California we don't care about that. That's yeah, all up there. California Lewis, California Pacific. California Pacific Dining Car is closing? What's that? Yeah. Is yeah. that good? Bruh. Yeah, that's like old school place. That's been uh, open since 19- Oh, you know the comedian spot that it closed down? What? 
um, swingers. swingers. Oh yeah, that yeah. Well, swingers, uh, bro. That was like the or, that was like the organic version of IHOP. Like where I, was it? IHOP to the tenth power. Is that Santa Monica? Was it on Santa Monica? Uh, it was on Melrose. Melrose. Why did it close? Mm-hmm, bro. Boston Let's Market stop. also closed in Burbank. Yeah, Boston Market didn't do no business though. I used to love going to Boston Market. Got what good. would they have? The rotisserie chickens? And yeah, the but cream spinach? that's when I wanted like a nice meal. Like, oh, I'm getting some chicken. I'm getting some yeah. corn. <clears throat> Man, I ate some. Uh, I went to walked on the beach last night and on the Santa Monica Pier. I ate a big bowl of corn, and man, it was all up in my shit today. <laughs> Why does that happen? Bro. Why does that happen? You know what's funny? is next time you eat corn, put like with a little t- tiny Sharpie, draw little faces on them, what? and then eat it. And then when it comes out, they, it looks like there's you a bunch the of little faces. faces. Yeah. <laughs> Who takes the t- <laughs> <coughs> That's a fun idea. I've never thought of Try such it. a it's thing. It's cool. It's weird looking. Why does it come out? Your tummy just can't deal with it? Yeah. With the corn? Red band, crazy. I wonder why. That's weird. I don't know. I used to, like in English class in fifth grade, I wrote, like, the whole idea was uh, write a paper about how we could help world hunger. And my immature ass wrote a whole page about how we should uh, just send a bunch of corn to Africa so, like, they, when they eat it, they can wash it out and eat it again, you know, <laughs> like... It, like it lasts longer, <laughs> and the the teacher was like, "This is very inappropriate, but a good idea." And I got like a B a B minus. I wonder if you could eat the corn again. I wonder. We should try that. If you no, we'll try that, that pa- we'll try that on a Patreon. Yeah, that should be no, a Patreon. Bro, I don't. I don't even really fuck with corn like that. I you don't love, like corn? I love uh, some corn. I love popcorn. You hold on. You don't like corn kernels? No, I'm saying I don't fuck with like corn like that. Like I'll eat corn every now and again, like especially street corn. Dude, yeah, I, I had the kind with the mayonnaise and the yeah, hot Cheetos yeah. and the lemon. I, what's and, the one that uh, Mex- like the Mexican corn salad where it comes in a bowl and it has a bunch of cheeses in it and uh, the mayonnaise? It's kind of like that's what about. I had last yeah, night. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, that shit's so good. Did you guys watch the new Borat trailer? No, I have not. I heard it was coming out, but I haven't seen it. When full dropping? Uh, October, end of October, I believe. Check this out. Did you like the first one, David? Ago, I released a movie film which brought great shame to Kazakhstan. Oh, no. <laughs> but now I was instructed to return to Yankee land to carry out secret mission. I go to America! October 23rd. What do you say, Rez? No, it's not me. What the hell? People may recognize my face. I would need disguises. This man is sex criminal? No, I'm not sex criminal. It's cool because it looks like they did the, uh, it looks like they did the thing where they use real people, you know? Uh, yes. Like these are like real store owners and stuff like that. Man, this is a good one. <laughs> where is his crumb? That's a good time. Neither one of them got on mask. What is the problem, officer? <clears throat> Somebody that's strapped to the top of your car. So he's in that passenger seat, boss. Only men and bears are allowed inside car. I'm here to give my daughter as a gift to someone. His daughter looks scary. I'm in dress with real sexy. She looks like your type. Uh, this is a bag that just goes mm. over the dress. They're not. Nice. That was a southern accent that lady had. Let us present. That's in Georgia, in Macon, Georgia. Yeah, I love how they always go to the south because you can pull the what south is? easier, you know? Like, go like, back a little bit. If I'm not mistaken. There was one, the police car earlier said uh, Auburn, which I guess that's, is Alabama. I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, that's the Hay House. Press Paul, can you Google a picture next to that of the Hay House in Macon, Georgia? What's the Hay House? He'll type it in and see. I think it's just H-A-Y House, Macon. What is it? That's yeah. the Hay House. Yep. <laughs> Good eyes. That's the Hay House. That's the exact same. That is the Good hay eyes. House. How'd you realize that, David? Because it's, it's like a historic house in Macon. What house. happened at the house? I don't know. Let's read on it. Yeah, yeah. Is. So Macon is, uh, you could fool him easy in Macon. Oh, uh, you probably can. Let's present Sandra Jessica Parker Drummond. With the baby on it. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. I have a baby inside. I wonder who that lady is. Can you take it out? No, we cannot. 
That's not what we do here. <laughs> I feel bad because I was the one who put the baby in her. Did you ever put one in your daughter? No, I did not. Oh my gosh. They're wanting everybody to quarantine so they don't spread this virus. Could I stay in your home? I hope. Oh, so this is with quarantine. <coughs> What is more dangerous, this uh, virus or the Democrat? Democrats. Democrats. Is it uh, killing some of the virus? No, you can't see the virus. No, it's still there. If you think you see a virus like that, this makes That's the virus right. sleepy. <laughs> and then when it's sleeping. Bro, this is going to be funny. My daddy is the smartest person in the whole flat world. This is going to be fun. The yeah. rest of the coronavirus remains low. As the president said yesterday, we're ready for it. Michael Penis, I brought the girl for you. <laughs> How did they do this? Look. What do you prefer? You fist me or I fist you? Same time. Fist each other. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> How did they get away with this shit? Uh... So good. I don't know. Like, how does Michael Moore get away with his movies? I don't know. I think it's a lot of clever Shots. editing, also. Michael <laughs> Moore. I remember some of those movies. Yeah. Fahrenheit 9 11. Bowling for Columbine. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was another. Why movie. was it called that again? People were bowling on the day of Columbine or something? I can't remember. <laughs> it was something to do with actual bowling. Really? Hell yeah, it was. It was something to actually. Favorite whistleblower, the man in everyone's face, the guy asking. I've subscribed to a Columbine subreddit. I oh, love reading about. Now it. this video looks really cheesy. My name was second highest in the bomb threat list, which kind of made me mad. Why? Because you didn't make it to number one. It had been kind of like an ego thing there, you know, knowing that I was number one at something. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, they get a gun. <clears throat> well, here's my first question. Do you think it's a little dangerous hanging out guns in a bank? <laughs> yeah, no shit. Hilarious. Roger and me. Did y'all see Roger and me? I'd go to a bank where they give me a free gun. Yeah. yeah, I still don't have one. I don't know why, but you got fake tattoos. Yeah, I got fake tattoos. Yeah, I got fake tattoos. Yeah, I got fake ones. Yeah, I know. Who is this? <laughs> oh, Columbine. What year was that? I vaguely remember. 2000? 99? No, no I would have remembered if it 98? was 98? It's 98 or 99. Maybe like 97. I remember I had to go to the DMV when I lived in uh, Colorado. It was right by Columbine. Columbine. 99. 99! 99. I was listening to a bunch of Limp Biscuit at that point in time. Damn, I was a youngster. I was loving Limp Biscuit then. I was in the sixth grade. What were you doing in 99, Red Man? Uh, Married I, to your first just got wife. Out, just got out of being a hippie and was a computer nerd. And I was working as a web designer. Where were you? In Columbus, Ohio. How Where? was it? Huh? How was it? It was pretty shitty back then being a web designer in columbus ohio but i, did have, I did have like arrowhead water as one of my accounts and i <laughs> made like the website so it looked like there was a waterfall and like water falling down it and back then that was really hard to do you know was, that's damn. cool i do remember columbine now i'm lying because i remember like there was there was like a i don't know if it was some internet shit it had to be because internet was fairly new then right it was like some yeah. inter- it was like some internet shit and a whole bunch of kids we're like, our school's on the list to get shot. The school I was going Down to. Down in Georgia? Yeah. They're like, our school's on the list to get shot. I'm glad it wasn't. Man. I'm glad it didn't. Are you looking up the uh, website? No, I'm just looking up stuff. Wait, so Redman, are you a fast typist? Huh? Do you yeah, do yeah, computer yeah. stuff? Yeah. Can you type without I, looking at the keyboard? Yeah, but I'm sloppy. Uh, so do you look or do you do back? I do, and- I do a little both. Speaking of internet, I just signed up for this new internet called Starry Internet. Starry? S-T- How do you spell that? S-T-A-R-R-Y. What's that? What's, it's yeah, to what's be up fast with fast as food. How do you get it? You want you it? You just sign up? Certain buildings. only They're, they're not like all over yet. Look, but, it has... Uh, what you do, Redman? 
as VR. Don't put your address in there. I'm not. It's my address. It's his address. Oh, gosh. Nope, not in my area. Yeah, that's where they got it at mine. Is 50 bucks a good price for internet? Hell, yeah. If it's fiber, it's fiber optics. What is it, 5G? <clears throat> is it... Is it just go over the airwaves? I don't know, but fifty dollars was a good deal, so I got that shit. Hmm. What's fiber optics? It's faster than what? What do we run on now? It's not DSL anymore, right? Yeah, I mean everything's pretty much fiber optics nowadays. But oh, so he's just saying some shit that I already got to make me sound like I'm getting yeah, some. yeah. And <laughs> what's fiber optics? Is that is fiber it's, optics? It's the cables that are used. Is to, that Cat Five cable? N- uh, no. But, I mean, it, all that shit is, like, nowadays, everything's pretty much fiber optics. And yeah, where do like they that. go? Under the ground, the cables? Yeah. But this looks like... This looks like it's uh This is like a wireless thing. So what does that mean? So what it looks like, it's uh It's broadcast to your house. Instead of having wires run to your house, it's broadcast. So this could work, or it could be some of the shittiest internet you ever had. Yeah. Um, because the problem is, it's like, like for gaming and stuff like that, it's about ping. Meaning, like, if you click on something, how fast does it take for you to, to come right. back and forth and stuff? And sometimes something like this could like be really shitty. It'd be like satellite internet. So. I got um. Three Why'd months. you get it then, David? Because they gave me three months free, and they they're yeah, gonna try it out. They're gonna give me two hundred. They're gonna give me if I don't like it within six months, they're gonna give me two hundred bucks. Huh? Yeah. I got like a real good deal. What do you know? How do you get that deal? Um, it was basically so basically the whoever owns my building, yeah, I guess switched the whole building. I guess that's how it works. Mm-hmm. So you have an option to get this or the regular. What is it? Com? No, is it Com? What's the new shit we got? Spectrum. Spectrum. Yeah, because they bought Time One. How much is it, Dina? Fifty. Well, see, yeah. So what this is is your apartment manager has this huge pretty much satellite on the top of its thing and it's broadcast to this apartment building like you said which could so be good or it bad. could be good it could be bad what i'm thinking why it would be bad is that all of you are using the same satellite i guess in your apartment so that means if you have somebody next door that's streaming netflix all day your shit might be slow it might be one of those things where you're all kind of sharing the same bandwidth i'm asking for my own satellite <laughs> 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 i need my own satellite sir like for cable. Yeah. Well, I don't know how that's going to work because I thought our You building... just burped. What was that? I didn't do it. What's that smell? That fish sauce. Janice, coming. what is that? That fish sauce coming up from your ass. Something's going on in here. What's that oh, smell? Oh, yeah. It's probably you burped that fish sauce in your own <sighs> beard. It's in your beard still. What is that smell? What is... Whoa. Does it smell like fish? Are you over there Whoa. Farting? Are you over there farting? What is that? Your mustache. Is it? Smell it. Gotta be. Got like, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I can't tell. <laughs> I just started smelling it something. It is, because I don't smell anything. Me either. Man, I'm smelling it right now. You're weird. Mm, what is that? <laughs> you. It's your corn and fish sauce in right. your belly. You tripping, coming back. Yeah. Corn and fish sauce. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Corn and fish sauce. Corn and fish yeah, sauce. Yeah, bro, you over there smelling your shelf. Corn and fish. Put some of this. Sauce. Uh, put some of this sanitizer on your mustache to get rid I'm of this. I'm not one. doing that yeah. bullshit <laughs> right idea. now. How often do you wash your beard? Uh, I was eating toaster strudels last night, mm. and I had to get a warm rag and put it on my no, beard because like it got a, onto my face. I'm saying like a nice, conditioned shampoo your beard. How often? A uh, couple times a week, maybe. Once a week. Mm, nice, yeah. I, I, um, I condition mine every day when I get in the shower. You do? You take a shower every day? Yeah. Well, I know you don't, but... Do you? I used to take one every other day, but quarantine <laughs> style, it's probably been every three days now. I, I'm definitely late, okay. late, three or four days. Damn, son. Are you twice a day or once a day? Once. See, I've been at times in my life where I'm twice a day. I like, I like, I don't know, uh, especially with me, with me going out a lot, I like taking my showers at night. Before you get in the bed? No, before like I go out to do what I got to do. Oh, I see. Like, I right see. before I kill Tony, I'll take a shower. You do? 
Yeah. I took a shower before this. Oh, smelling so fresh and so clean, clean. This is probably the cleanest. This. this is probably the cleanest you've ever been in a while with your new shorts, huh? Do you think so? That's a good thing, right? Yeah. So, are are, are you noticing anything different with the ladies? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How much? <laughs> are they saying nice shorts? What are you talking about? I've already gotten in bad trouble when those two <laughs> girls were here. I got in horrible trouble. That was a, literally a nightmare. But are the girls noticing your new shorts? I sorry, it's impossible to tell. I don't know. I'm not talking to any. I don't fucking know. You can't. She's gonna get mad if you get a compliment. How insecure? I, I don't know. It's how, hard to say. I don't know. I'm that? not. How insecure? Come on. Why are you bringing this shit up? You think you, all I asked was our oh girls complimenting your new shorts? And you I guess said, to answer your question, I haven't gotten any compliments, and I, I'm waiting on them. I saw a girl compliment your shorts Monday. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> what, what would happen if Janice started giving you a little massage? What if she rubs some cream in your beard? What do you mean? Somebody hey, gave Janice, me compliments on rub, Monday? Can you come? No, Janice. Thank <laughs> you. Come on. Uh, come on, Janice. Can you massage his hand sanitizer into his head? Can you just rub his uh, back a little? Well, I wish I was getting more compliments on the shorts, but it seems like it's not happening. I don't know what's going on. So what about the chick I saw you with Monday? I don't know what that is. The and... girl who had her hand in your pocket. <laughs> That's she, she, she I don't was. think you realize... How bad of an idea you messing around like this. I'm not even kidding. It turns into something that's not funny for me. For me, it turns not fun. William's like, no, please, I'll get beat. (laughs) It just turns not fun for me. Damn, bro. I'm not kidding. We're going to have to just start. uh... That's so sad. Bro, no, bro. Yeah, hold on. We can't. Nobody had their... Hand in my pocket. She had her hand in your back pocket, actually. <laughs> she was noticing the lining of your shorts. Okay. And yeah, I'm, no, I'm, I... Uh, I'm totally joking, like Will said. I'm totally... It's a nightmare. What a nightmare. It is a nightmare. Ever since you said that word, you know white people use that word a lot. Mm-hmm. There was a guy uh, who went up Monday. Was it Monday? And he was like, what something about saying? quarantine. He was like, it's a total nightmare. But I was like, damn, white people use total nightmare a lot. Black people be like, it was fucked up. What is that? Man, I... Yeah, hold on. What are you looking at? Why don't you guys have websites? I did have a website. What was it? Uh, It no longer exists. But what was the address of it? Yeah, I thought I remember yours. I took it down. Like, recently. I took it down because I didn't renew the domain name. And the new people that I have that are going to manage it. uh, So, I, I... the guy who used to run it stopped running it, and then he wouldn't give me the login, and I didn't. I wasn't able to pay for the or something like that. He had the email and shit tied to it, so I just took it down because at any given time he could fuck with it. Mm-hmm. Look, David Lucas, uh, American rock and roll composer, singer, and music producer, he's written thousands of commercial jingles. I didn't say such as AT and T's or Reach Out and Touch Someone. I love that song. What is that song? I can't picture Reach that. Out and touch. Wait, Will, is that I it? I didn't tell you. I about don't my, know what that is. I didn't tell you about my musical career. No, no. I'd heard things in passing. I uh, <clears throat> I got a real famous song. You want me to sing you a little bit of it? Yeah. Like, all right, here we go. Wait, hold on. Is this the? I I wrote this song before I was born. Hello, Robbie. Hi, how's school? Hi, Robbie. Fine. <laughs> but you better let Higgins out before you have an accident. Amy, let the dog out, please. So how's school? Thanks, Amy. Sounds like Amy has a big night tonight. I didn't know she was going out. She always sings when she has a date. <laughs> so tell me. Don't look now. But I think Dad's going for his 8 o'clock snack. Al, we just ate two hours ago. Like I said, how's school going, Rob? I wrote That's this. Peter coming I love this. Practice. I wrote this. Better feed him dinner. Never mind about Peter. I wrote this, Will. I'm impressed. I didn't know. Back in 87. Wrong. I was born in 87. I wrote it before I was born. Wait, where does the actual song come in? There it is. Oh, just that. Oh, just that. So you did do it. Yeah. Reach out and touch someone. Reach out and touch 
somebody's hand make this world a better place if you can shit i love it <laughs> what, was that? what was your dot com though do you remember what your dot com uh no i don't maybe david lucas.com what are the people on the discord did me one did? i don't know if there's anything on it though I feel like I remember yours, David. There's like a one of your T-shirts on there or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I don't, I don't really know what it is. I don't remember. But uh, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't working up to my standards. So, does it cost you money? Yeah, that shit costs money, though. It costs everything costs money. Will. Well, how am I gonna get a website? Pay. Oh God. Will. How am I supposed to get one? With that twelve thousand dollars a week you're receiving, <laughs> that you're not cutting me and Red Band on from Glassics.co, the best bongs in the business. That you're not cutting me and Red Band in on. Okay, well, what goes around comes around. So we're gonna make sure we edit that shit out. No, Glassics.co. This is David Lucas's old website. <laughs> <laughs> What is that? <laughs> what is that? Look, that? That is not. Go to bio. Let's see who the fuck this oh is. Oh my gosh. What's with that cat? This is you. David Lucas has an, been an amazing. David Lucas has been amazing audiences for virtually his entire life. At the age of two, David toured the world as a featured act with the great Liberace. Wow, we didn't know this about you. I had no idea. <laughs> I didn't know. It's hilarious. Read the rest. Go. I want to read some more. All right. But well, read it out loud. David continued his performing on stage at the most prestigious hotels in Las Vegas, Lake Tahoe, Atlantic City, Reno, and Puerto Rico, dazzling audiences in world famous productions as at Bally's, Riviera, Stardust, Tropicana, Las Vegas Hilton. MGM Grand and Caesars Palace. In and his years of showbiz experience, David has combined a hilarious stand of comedy with the show stopping finale of world class sport juggling. <laughs> Becoming one of the highest rated acts on four major cruise lines and performing for the Prime Minister of Canada and three US presidents. Wow. He'll do what he's hired to do. Amaze you. <laughs> Let's see who this see this guy is. No, go back. I wanna, yeah, I, I want to. I want to call that number. See if I can book him. He might be dead. No, go back. Go yeah, back. I wonder yeah, if he is find still. Find out if he's still alive first. Uh, yeah. yeah, first I thought that was probably a fake thing. Somebody, but now I'm thinking maybe that really was a guy. No, it is. It was. A, what's a sport juggler? Yeah, I want to see what that is. I don't know what that. <laughs> go to means. YouTube and type in Man. sport juggler. David Lucas. It only comes up you now. I'm the most famous David Lucas right now. Yeah. You are. <laughs> Sport juggling. Wow, he's, he's, Is that him? Oh, here we go. David Lucas, juggling TV. So this is how I used to look back in the day, guys. And he used to get fucked by Liberace. Oh, this God. is on juggling.tv, the online owner of juggling videos. Make that shit be. Y'all see how I used to be back when I was white? I love it. I almost like it better. Yeah, I was the first person. I almost like it better. I was the first person to uh, <laughs> juggle tennis rackets. Look at that. Or badminton rackets, whatever they were at the time. I love some badminton. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> See? Nobody was doing that at uh, Bally's, Tropicana, or Las Vegas. And I would do that right before I started doing my stand up. See, I caught another one, so I'm about to do four. This was something that nobody's ever done before. And then I actually crossed over into juggling chainsaws. No, you didn't. Yeah, did I did. You? Yeah. How are you doing four right here? Um, they, so I learned that in uh, Romania when I was with Liberace. Cool. I used, yeah. to, I used to only be able to juggle three. And then uh, Liberace was like, you can have a fourth. Hold on, Red Band. Would you be able to? I think that'd be fun if you did like a comedy special and the cameras looked like, like that quality. Yeah. <laughs> Could you reenact that quality oh, easily, of video? Easily. You can do that shit with an iPhone right yeah. now, bro. Can you? Yeah. That's yeah. fun looking. That's nothing but a filter. Is it? Yeah. You could reproduce that? Easy. 
Can we remember that? The, I don't know if I'll look, ever have look, a special, but nope. I would want it to be looking like that. William, I'm better. That would look you. good. I'm better than you. Go up, go up, Red Band. The Museum of Juggling History. I'm okay, in. bullshit. I'm in that. Bullshit. Go back, Red Band. Show my. You don't deserve to be in that. Whatever. Go back. Oh, go back God. to the. Go back to the. The World Juggling Museum. I'm not buying it. See, look. Go down. I'm not buying it. Go down a little bit. Look at that. With with ice skates. With on. ice skates. That's, that's your, your little ring. Yeah, my my brother's Albert. That's a it. sweet little ring. That's one of my. Uh, <laughs> that's a sweet little ring, David. Go down a little bit, David. I love it. This oh is, my gosh! In the bowling pin. That's it's David. Also, it's so sweet. That's not a bowling pin. It's Paul. It looks like a bowling pin. It's part of Paul Bachman's collection. It's not part of Paul. Bachman. There it is. Collection. Acquired as part of the it's ball po- Bachman collection. Go down. See? Okay. I'm not buying it. Whatever. Paul I can Bachman. say anything on the internet. I'm not buying it. You're just jealous. Yeah, I am just jealous. Let's see Whatever. you juggle. Let's see you juggle. I can't fucking juggle. Give me that. Give me, give me no, that. No, I can't that juggle. Give me that juggle. There's the weed in here. Juggle It'll break. Ball. No, no we're not. Can you juggle too? It's been a now You're doing the, it. Now put the bong in there. Give me the bar. I'm gonna do it. Hell again. no. <laughs> you ready? Not the glasses. <laughs> Let me see you Gosh. juggle. Can you juggle too? <laughs> Coming. <laughs> Coming to the stage. <laughs> The world's most interesting man, William Montgomery. Watch him juggle two containers of California legal marijuana. The world's most interesting man. In a gator's hat, he does this. Sorry. Sorry. Well, if you if you re- if you were in the circus, would you rather be a sword swallower or a fire eater? Oh god, good question. I'd rather guess people's ages. That, or well, that's the fair. You said the circus. The circus. Okay, maybe a uh, sword fire swallower. Eater. Fire, which one would you rather be? A lion tamer. Woo! That's a fun one. That's dangerous. More. I would. I wouldn't want to swallow swords. <laughs> yeah. What if you cough or something? What if it makes you sneeze? Me and my allergies. I'd be don't kill myself. What would you do? What? Woo! <laughs> Well, I know I could only like handle like seven inches, so I don't want to try. A Jesus Christ! <laughs> really? I don't get how much can you handle, William? I don't even know. <laughs> how, how, how long? How much have I you done? I don't even know. I can't even handle a toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> Toothbrushes do me dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Do they? Yeah, I know. I was born to be a. Uh, How are you brushing your teeth, <laughs> bro? When you when you fucking brush your tongue, yeah, as, and you gotta brush your tongue. As soon as the t- toothbrush hits my tongue, I'm gagging. I'm like, I would be a horrible female, mm-hmm. a horrible. Yeah, me too. What is that in the gay community? A bottom? Yeah. What's the difference between a bottom and a top? Who gets it put? Tony's a switch. What is that? You do both, but what's a bottom? You get it put in you. Yeah. People get in your bottom. Yeah, and like if you're you, top, like you, you would be a bottom. Would I? Yeah, yeah, because you got that cute little cheeks and stuff. Do it. You the think butt? I'd be a bottom? Oh hell yeah, you would be. Do I'd be it a top. Butt? No, you wouldn't. I'd be a top. No, you you, you stick- I'd be a fucking top. There's no. I'd be a top. You you stick your. You think in I'd there? be a bottom? I think I could see you spreading your ass apart and leaning over a bed. You stick your chode God. in there, William? With my tattoos. What about your chode? Oh, uh, what about it? You put it in there. Yeah, maybe. You know you have to practice. I'm mean, not practice. You know you have to prep for that type of sex, right? What do you mean? You got to give yourself an enema. Mm-hmm. How come? Or else you're going to have corn on the cock. Yeah. <laughs> you do have to give yourself. <laughs> have you gotten a check to prepare that way before? Have you ever hit it in the bottle? Uh, I've never did it successfully. <laughs> what do you mean? Mm, they stopped me. Have you read that? Mm-hmm. It don't. It don't seem like nothing I want to do. I Come hear on, you. I don't bro. know. Yeah, Ramen what's going not, on here? Turn this shit off. And you worried about me saying the n word? I'm put, not showing this. I'm just showing uh, your faces. <laughs> you were. So what is this? I love it. It's what's a going on made here? Out of corn, and it's called corn on the cock. <laughs> what's going on what here? A, I bet that actually feels good for a woman. Yeah. All them, all them bumps. That's what the country girls used to always do growing up in Ohio. Is it really? Yeah, just take a corn on the cob. 
<laughs> Peel it, it clean it off. Put it on the grill. Mm. Would you clean it off? I wonder. No, it's pretty clean. Cool. I didn't know about that. I learned something new today. Try it on know. your grill. Let us know next week. I will. Tell we'll you, see. You got to do it. Maybe. See how it goes. I didn't know that existed. Why? Did you? What? Girls putting those things at Porn. I mean, girls put anything in there. I mean, when I was in high school, I remember this white dude told me that I was masturbating wrong because I wasn't masturbating with bologna. Well, you just used the bologna juice. It's slimier. It's great. No, he told me to, bologna he told juice. Me, he told me to jack my dick with a piece of bologna. Gosh, did you try? Nope. Yeah, I don't know if I would either. Mm-mm, fuck that. It's it's cool. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> Heat it up. Heat it up. Yeah. I don't know. That's hard to. I don't know. It's hard what, to say. What do you know? I don't know. It's hard to say. Who is this? Yeah. What's going on here? What's this? Wow. Damn, Amazon? 19,000 COVID cases at Amazon. Hold on, hold on. Let me see this shit about Dr. Dre wins legal battle. Good. Who Nicole is that Nicole says she's person? getting death threats. His wife. Is that a lady? Hold on, go, go up. Let's read it. Dr. Dre just won a battle in court. The judge in their divorce case just rejected Nicole's request for $1.5 million to pay for various expenses, including security, and the judge re- rejected her request to accelerate her claim. That Dr. Dre should pay her five million for her lawyer's fees and costs, including his maternity judgment. So what happened? Money. They were married for a while. She's trying to get, take all his money. How long were they together? I don't know. A long time, I think. Is she a white lady? Yeah. Nicole. Why is she going after Dr. Dre? I know. I'm glad what is she Nicole lost. Nicole doing? I'm glad up? she lost. Like. Lady, this man can pay you thirty thousand dollars a month, and you live great for the rest of your life. You do not need one point. Why do you need thirty? What was it? Nine hundred thousand dollars for dinner expenses? She has security. That's thirty thousand dollars a day. Who needs? That's thirty thousand dollars a day, right? Times, yeah. Who needs that That's kind not, of money to eat out? Yeah, where are you going? You're not going to checkers or rallies. That bitch must be flying to Dubai every day. Yeah. Well, remember we talked about how she wanted like some ridiculous amount of money just for Netflix or yeah. something like that. Like her 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 telephone and phone expenses were like twenty k. More than that, even I think I mean, it was like seventy five. What did she do? I remember one time when I was living in Denver, I was drunk one night and I called one of my best friends of high school, Alvin Sidhu, who's Indian, and he was living in India at the time. And I called him at probably three in the morning, and I talked to him for probably four hours. And then I get a phone call from my dad saying there was a six hundred dollar charge on the phone bill. I hope he cut awful. Did he cut your ass off? I was still on it a little bit after that. <laughs> well, we got some questions, by the way, guys, from uh, to the Patreon. Well, let's see. Uh, question number one. Let's. Uh, William did did William get the glass Zantac I sent? There's actually a question before. Oh, I know. I don't. I don't do them all. Uh, did William <coughs> get the glass Zantac I sent? It was months ago, and you guys need to start riding bikes or something. You're both fat. Bikes rule. Don't worry. I'm fat, too. Okay. I was wondering who that was. It was Taylor Robinson. <laughs> He's Taylor. Taylor, I got the glass Zantac. I love it. What's it's, a glass Zantac? It's in my car. It looks. It's like a piece of glass that like a glass blower would blow, but it looks like a Zantac bill, and you put it on a necklace, maybe. Right. Very sweet. Totally appreciate it. It's in my car. I just forgot who sent it. Oh, shit. There go a question. Are any of us on the stereo app? Yes, I'm on the stereo app. David right. Lucas. Why are you on the stereo app? What stereo app? It's it's called a podcast, but worse. What what's made, a stereo app? It's just, oh, there we go. William, what made you want to get Yeezys? David, what's your favorite pair of shoes? I know you're a sneakerhead. Uh, my favorite shoes uh, would probably be the special edition um, Bob's Burger vans I have, but other than that, probably the uh, three fifty Yeezys. What made you want to get Yeezys? Will you? I don't know. I feel I think I realized in this time of quarantine, where I have a lot of time on my hands, I just realized that I have shoes on my feet all the time. I would like to find a pair that are comfy looking. 
Uh, they turned out to be a tad too small, but I was just thinking I wear shoes on my feet every day. I'll spend a little bit of money on some shoes. Do you like them so far? Are they still loose, too loose for you, or are they broken into a little or too tight? If you don't, I've been wearing my Birkenstocks a bunch. If you don't fuck them up, I'll actually buy them for you because when I was in Georgia for my granddaddy's funeral, how come I uh, I stepped I had the uh, hospital blues and I stepped in mud and gave them to my cousin because I was like I'm not cleaning these. These are my favorite pair of shoes, and I actually have two pairs of them. My Adidas Dragon Ball Z shoes. Those are cool. I saw you wearing those earlier. They're so comfortable. And uh, I would probably say all the I have all the Adidas Dragon Ball Z shoes, but these are the best ones, and I have two pairs. Who's your favorite DBZ character? Dude, I have to go with Geiku. Geiku. Geiko. 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 Goku. <laughs> Who? Who's your favorite? I ain't watched Dragon Ball Z. You ain't watch it? I didn't watch that shit growing up. What's the first joke you guys wrote? Uh, it was something like last night I fell asleep in between two slices of bread. That was like my fr- before I knew what like joke writing. I was just saying stupid shit on stage. What's yours, Will? Mine was similar, actually. It was, uh, so I ate a bread sandwich the other day. It was pretty bland. It was literally just two pieces of bread. Put together. Speaking of bread, you heard them considered Subway bread, not bread. I read that today. <laughs> yeah. What did they sugar. say it is? What too does mu- that mean? Too much sugar in it. Yeah, it's like a donut. Really? Place. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw that article earlier. I didn't know. I didn't read it all. Which kill Tony guests were you most proud of impressing, and which did do you wish you performed better for? Um. Um. Shit. It ain't all of Bob Saget telling me I'm funny was dope. Yeah, um, that's fun. Yeah. Um, Ron White. I wish I... Uh, I can't wait until we're live again and Joe Rogan's back on. Nah, that's going to be a while. He doesn't even live here anymore. Right. Uh, <laughs> but other than that, um, probably... Um, <clears throat> let's see. Who... I can't wait to perform. In, he was uh, one of the guests. I can't even think of his name right now. He's one of my favorite comics. The white guy who doesn't cuss. I'm having a brain fart. Oh, uh Pale white guy, yeah. uh, Jim Gaffigan. Jim Gaffigan. Jim Gaffigan yes. Yeah, that's that's, that's probably my, was was one of my series. He was on Kill Tony, right? Yeah, yeah. With uh, what's his name? Yeah, he, he, he freaked. Uh, William freaked him out because William was really drunk, and he came up to him. And I wasn't really drunk. And he kept on doing like that thing where he just wouldn't like got really close to him and kept on talking, like asking him a thousand questions in like two <laughs> minutes. He was loving it. We became really good friends. I got his phone number actually after that. We call each other. He's something. funny as fuck. Uh, do Skittles all taste the same? No. No. Who thinks Fuck that? Me. You must have never eaten them individually. Yeah. Hold on, that's Steaky Flowers Farms. It's a good friend in Michigan. Really? Hope he's well, yeah. Are these all frat boys? Huh? Are these all your fraternity brothers? What are you talking about? How do you know, guy, a good f- how do you know I, I, think I know William, Steaky Flower Farms. I think William's just lying, bro. He's just lying. We know he's lying at this point. About what? About knowing all these people. There's, it's impossible. There's a okay. Jehovah's Witness that's in love with me, and the feeling's mutual, except I'm not religious. William, what should I do? And David, what should I really do? Get that pussy at all costs. I would say uh, get into Jehovah's Witness stuff, start learning the religion, and you would say just fuck her? Yeah. Yeah, I'd say just establish a relationship. Try to convert her. To Jehovah's Witnesses. He should be open for her to convert him. No, he should convert her. To what? Not being religious. Not being religious? When she comes and knock on the door, open that bitch with a hard dick. Gosh, David. (laughs) She's Jehovah's Witness. And? That's not going to happen. She's going to witness something else that day. God. (laughs) Oh, gosh. Self-love is important. How many times weekly for Red Band, William, and David? You guys Self-love know? like masturbation? Masturbation. Uh, maybe once or twice, depending on the week. Once or twice? Oh. Yeah. William? I mean, since I've been with my loving young lady friend. <laughs> oh, God. Skip the question I for him. Skip don't it. have to. Whatever. I don't worry about that. I don't, but on Monday... If I'm going to be very frank, I did four times on Monday. 
Four so, times? So Why? You, you telling me... I don't know. I took a little Adderall. I'm doing this wonderful show in Eureka, California. Uh, on the 8th of October, or 9th of October, I think it is. Anybody watching needs to come out. But I was preparing for that. I took an Adderall, and it... I don't know. I was just in the mood for some reason. I got on my Pornhub... But on my hand job videos, I was going to town. Hand job videos. So you telling me your girl keep your nuts on empty? I mean, I feel like I don't need to talk about that on here. I would just <laughs> say <laughs> you, you, I would just say that it's something you telling me she, I don't even consider I looking at saying. pornography. Yeah, it doesn't she, even cross my mind. So your girl be draining the swamp. It doesn't even cross my yeah, mind. Yeah, it does. She drains that big red swamp. Mm. It just doesn't even cross my How mind to look at any pornography. <laughs> What was that noise? The Draining sound. the swamp. Yep. <laughs> the sound that go in when it go in. What a dumb question. What would you say, Red Beard? About three times a day. Jeez Louise. No. Uh-uh. I can't do that. <laughs> Fuck no. Why? Yeah, That's, no, bro. Like, yeah, you no. can. What are you talking it's about? It's good for you. It's good for your prostate. Yeah, so is pussy. <laughs> so. <laughs> what else we got? <laughs> uh, that's it. No, it's not. You know, there's one, William, would you ever do an episode of Virtual Red Band? But yeah, in the future, I'm going to bring VR here so you guys can play virtual reality. Yeah. Just How t- scary is that? That's what, pauses, that's what gives me pause. How scary is that? Not it's scary. scary. You're going to love it. Very scary. Though. How scary is that? Let's drop that, let's drop that uh, freestyle, dog. Mm. You know what I'm saying, Will? Let's do it. Yeah. Tell him what would happen if you find out that he has stolen. Is this a new one? Wait. Fucking is this a new one? My yeah. Shit, Bert, Let him know. It would be the end of days. <laughs> if I found out you took my shit. <laughs> Let him know. Oh my yeah. gosh, what is this? It go hard. Chill. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> Erica gon' drain that swamp. She gon' drain that swamp. She gon' drain that swamp. You know your girl gonna uh, 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 drain that swamp. Your girl drain that swamp. Your girl gon' drain that swamp. You know, yeah, girl gon' drain that swamp. Your girl gon' drain that swamp. Your girl gon' drain that swamp. Your girl gon' yeah, 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 that swamp. I'm draining that swamp. So I... Now I can't do it. I. <sighs> <laughs> William took. Adderall and jacked off on Monday. His girl fucked him on a Tuesday. She laid him down on a Wednesday. She gave him head <laughs> on a Thursday. On Friday, they had a three way. On Saturday, it's more like full play. On Sunday, they rest so they can do it again. He call it. They drink a little gin. They do it in the morning. They do it in the evening. You know he come in the house. He straight skeeting all over her. She got to drain that swamp. He come to her. His come got a dump. He on her face. He <laughs> the, on her plate. He put his dick right in front of her face. Drain that swamp. Drain that swamp. You know drain that swamp. Drain that swamp. Drain that swamp. He gonna drain that swamp. Drain that swamp. I love that. I'm just listening to the beat. I'm sorry. Drain that swamp. That was pretty good. That was wonderful. Drawn up like a bow, and the beer on this shit was as white as the snow. Are we really brothers? Brothers and Are we really brothers? Brothers and curses. Are we really brothers? Brothers and curses. Are we really brothers? Brothers and curses. Are we really brothers? Would you tell me? Yeah. Brothers in cursive. David. William Montgomery. Brothers in cursive. Brothers in cursive. David. William Montgomery. Brothers in cursive. Brothers in cursive. Brothers in cursive. That's sort of fun, I guess. I don't really know. I don't know what it means. Either you get it or you don't. Hey, Red Band, can we start all of this over? Bro, what? (laughs) Brothers in in cursive.